important. You could have chosen to be somewhere else, but you chose to be here today. So give yourselves a round of applause. Uh, so before I begin, I want to thank Blake, Ward, and uh, everybody here on the scoring services for uh, you know making sure that all the scores and all the technical stuff was uh, right on track for us to have a successful uh, orienteering meet. So thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. And lastly, I want to thank the people behind me, the parents, the volunteers, and our cadets that actually help out making sure that this event was a complete success. So give them a round of applause. Uh, last thing is there were some compasses that were actually lost. They're over there on the uh, blue tent, so if you're missing some compasses, before you go, stop by the tent and get them. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, award started. You guys ready for the award? Yellow female. Third place from Gaither. Today on Jolly.
event about a month ago, right? And uh, for that honor, they've been selected to represent Area 7 at the Navy National Championship, which will be held one month exactly from this weekend in the Bay Area, California, San Francisco Bay Area, at a, at a park called Joe Grant Park. Now, it is not an easy task to get there. The good news is you got selected to go to Navy National. The bad news is you have to pay for it. Okay, so Royal Orienteering and Sun Coast Orienteering, we enjoy putting on events for you. And sometimes we're able to scrape and get together a little money that we like to put back into the sport. So we've selected this year Lord Orienteering and Sun Coast Orienteering. We're both making donations to both of the teams so that they can help with their so we can help with their fundraising to get to, to California. So this is symbolic. It's just words on, on paper, but the checks are in the mail. Okay? But from the two clubs, both schools are getting $1,500. Those who get selected by their schools to go there will have a fantastic experience. I know it, and uh, look forward to in a few years the Navy Nationals will be back here in, in Florida. Maybe those of you who are in grade nine will be on that team for your school. It's a great experience. Congratulations to Central. Congratulations to Gator on the fantastic year you're having. Your leadership, both of the students, yeah. 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 the first one in the area. 
Number six was the hardest? No, I think No, I guess number six was the hardest. Hang up and leave it. And we also uh, want to congratulate yeah, you on everything that you've learned in the sport yeah, of horse racing. We look came forward to helping you get a little miss, farther with that. We're always thrilled, of, of course, when and some of our local teams yeah. get recognized at the national level. And I believe the four teams, actually, from our area were offered the chance to go to the national. Some of them just weren't able to take them up on it. I have three controls right around number one. And it took me 45 minutes to find the first year. So congratulations. Get yourself busy and get an army now. We're trying. Because you should be there. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for coming. Please drive safe. Take care, guys. All right. We've got Sylvia and her name, and we're going to get going. Leave Mrs. Holly. Oh, yeah.